hi welcome now I'm going to show you how to get uh, data from a CSV file and uh, create a pivot table okay so uh, my first step is to get the CSV file data into the Excel and then create a pivot table you cannot straight away create a pivot table based on a CSV um, data okay so that option of uh, inserting a pivot table and uh, you get to use uh, an external data source and uh, choose connection as a P CSV is not working actually okay so what we need to do is we do uh, we need to do it indirectly from the data okay then uh, from uh, text okay in the text you can select your file but uh, basically what uh, I have here is the uh, comma delimited CSV okay then uh, import okay once I do it is going to pop up the text import wizard which is uh, I need to select the uh, file type whether it's delimited or fixed width okay I'm selecting a delimited because it's a CSV comma delimited then uh, do you want to import the row from the first row uh, start import at first row yes okay then my data as headers or not uh, yes my data as headers I have month uh, comma sales and uh, expense okay so I press ok then uh, go to next okay I need to select the delimiters uh, so uh, in this case my delimiter is comma okay so I selected comma then uh, do I need to treat the consecutive delimiters as one uh, in my case uh, every delimiter is uh, delimiting a column okay so it is not uh, treating consecutive delimiters as one okay text qualifier is uh, uh, quotation or single quotation okay if you have a, a comma in between the column itself you want to consider that comma as the uh, column value itself not to treat uh, that comma as a delimiter you must uh, enclose that column with the quotation okay so that if uh, comma in between the quotation it won't treat that comma as a delimiter comma okay it will treat that one as a text comma okay that is this one okay text qualifier okay for our case we uh, usually we use the text qualifier as quotation okay double quotation okay then uh, press ok then um, you have a column data format okay column data format can be okay the values you can make it as numbers and the uh, text as text okay I put the text for a uh, text these two column sales and the expense as numbers so what I will do I leave it as general general will find uh, if uh, is there any numeric value in the column it will treat that numeric value as number okay the other values as text if date is there it will treat as a data okay then press ok and finish once you finish it is popping out the uh, import data option okay in the import data uh, pop up then it is showing that uh, select how you want the want to view this data in your workbook okay the options are disabled so we have only one option leave out is table okay the text files and the CSV files it will treat only as table so this makes us uh, you know the we have one more extra step to import the data first into the Excel sheet then we will create the pivot table if it is a SQL table or uh, MDP files that one what it will do it will straight away create a pivot table using the second option option pivot table report okay in that option when you refresh it will directly refresh uh, from the database in this case uh, we will if we refresh a pivot table it will refresh only from the sheet then how can we refresh from the original uh, CSV file that one I'll show to you okay then uh, where do you want to put the data okay uh, in the existing worksheet or a new worksheet okay I will put it in the existing worksheet okay now what I have is the data is already uh, imported into my excel sheet okay now I selected the data I am going to create a pivot table on that okay so insert pivot table now this data is already there and uh, 
okay what I will do is I give a sheet name data okay so I selected the data so I am moving to insert pivot table now the option selection is already coming here select a table or the range okay choose the data that you want to analyze which is nothing but uh, these three columns okay then what I'm going to do is I just uh, uh, using the data and uh, creating the pivot table in the new worksheet okay choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed in the new worksheet press ok then it is coming up with the pivot table report area as well as the pivot table fields uh, uh, pan okay in this pan you can select whichever fields you want and according to that it is going to create a pivot table okay so what i'm going to do is the month and the sales okay so this way you can start creating your pivot tables okay now you can see the pivot table is already there and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the value in the data file okay which is comma delimited data file i'm going to change the value okay okay this is the data file which i have okay this is the data file but uh, this is a pivot table based on the data pivot table pt okay this based on the data in the data sheet okay not in the comma delimiter which is the our source file okay so uh, now what i am going to do i just change the sales value to 900 okay or uh, thousand under for Jan okay so now I'm okay I just save this okay I saved this okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to the pivot table and uh, refresh you can see the January value is not changed but whereas the source table the value is changed okay so I change it to 1100 so this this case so how can I update the pivot table okay when uh, for uh, for example uh, every month you may be receiving a uh, different files from the different uh, departments you keep the pivot table template as one and you want the only you are changing the source data how can i update that one in the pivot table okay for uh, to update that you refresh what will happen in this pivot table as the source data the cache is this data okay not in the actual original file okay so what we need to do is uh, uh, to to refresh this first you need to refresh the data okay so you first go to the data okay then you refresh this one first okay so this table you refresh the data table you refresh once I refresh it will pop out and show you from where you it picked, picked the data okay which is in the comma delimited csp so just to press import once you press import it is refreshed so every month you have a different uh, file so then then go to the data sheet here first you refresh this it will pick the data from the new workbook there and then uh, either but remember that the format must be same so that uh, our pivot table is using that okay then you come to the uh, pivot table then you refresh now it is appearing for January 1100 okay
this is the one additional step in text files and csv files uh, to uh, refresh on the data first data sheet then you will uh, data table and uh, refresh the um, pivot table okay so hope uh, this video is helpful to you and uh, if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel which is already there in the screen alan sam button please press that one and also you leave your comments uh, suggestions in the uh, comments box is public and it is uh, useful to me to improve my videos okay and uh, god bless you